The attacks triggered anger. But what happened after? Inspired. And you know, 100,000 people in the streets of Paris the whole morning together, and so the, the city has won. It has to take place here in Seattle, too. And so near the city's waterfront, a crowd slowly grew around the French flag. You cannot shoot someone because he wants to say something, he thinks something. You cannot shoot somebody. It's inadmissible. They're sending a message simply by being here. If you're going to kill free speech by killing Charlie, then you're going to have to kill everybody. And that includes me. And that sure. included more than 100 people by the end of the night, so far from Paris, but feeling united in a message against terrorism. What they did, they actually did the opposite of what they wanted to do. They thought they were going to kill Charlie, they just made it unforgettable. They carried that message into the night. If this kind of thing was going to happen, there had to be a pushback. A pushback for freedom of the press, for free expression of ideas. And on nights like this one, sometimes even silence can say so much.